Hi everybody, I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Belisa. Welcome to our channel. We are going to be putting a screen door in the back of our van where the double doors open so that we can open them up, get some air in, but keep the bugs out. So we have purchased two magic mesh doors. These are magnetic, so they're easy in, easy out. We had to get two though because these measure 83 by 39 inches and our opening is approximately 74 by 74 inches. So I bought two, so I'm gonna put them together so that they fit perfectly. Let's get started. If you've watched any of our videos in the past where we're out in our van, you can see that we have a screen door already up on our sliding door and I'm gonna show you a clip of that right now. Now that it's summer, we have a lot of days that are almost 100 degrees. And while it does cool down nicely in the evenings, which is when we are usually out in our van, we want to be able to open the back doors up, open the sliding door up so that we can get a nice breeze coming through to cool down the van without letting in the bugs or the mosquitoes that are at the campgrounds where we're staying. Okay, let's do an unboxing of the Magic Mesh Hands-Free Screen Door Deluxe. All right, we have some little sticker tabbies here. Let's see if we can get in them. How stabbing myself. Success! I did it! Okay. Wow. A bag in a box. They do package these really nicely. All right, so let's get in here. Let's see what we've got. Field pieces. I'm going to set these to the side and we'll look at those in a minute. But first, I want to show you this awesome. So it comes in two pieces, but they're attached right now with the magnets like this. The screen is so nice. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it is so nice. The holes are really, really tiny so bugs won't get in. The magnets are really heavy duty, so they stick together great. And it also comes with, this is extra sticky two-sided stick Velcro. So you can use this on areas where it's not quite laying down nicely so that you want to make sure there aren't any gaps or any openings to keep the bugs out. Then of course we have our installation instructions. We're gonna read those carefully, of course. And these, I think, are gonna be just some little screws that we can screw it in. We probably will use something a little more heavy duty, but, oh, these are just like little tacks. So it does come with little tacks you can use. We're gonna use screws, though. All right, let's get to sewing this so that it will fit perfectly. This is just another pack of more of the um, double sticky Velcro. So I'm going to set those things aside, get my measurements out, get everything measured, and start sewing. As you saw, I purchased two kits. The reason for that is I'm going to sew them together so that I have one screen door that is wide enough for the back door of our van. The kits come with magnets already attached to them, which is really, really nice. But on this second set, I had to remove the magnets. They're just in these little plastic casings and they clip on to the edge here, so they're really easy to remove. I've removed them all from the extra kit and set them aside in case I need them for something, and now I'm just stitching two panels together. Okay, I just finished stitching together the first two panels, and I have my next two panels to put together. So I bought two boxes, each box, the finished width is 39 inches. So together I have a total of 78 inches. The opening of the back of my van, the door that I'm trying to cover, is 74 inches. So each panel has these nice ribbon edges and I am overlapping them one inch each of each panel. So that is one inch is gonna be taken off of this panel, one inch is gonna be taken off of this panel for two, and the same with the other side. So that is going to be taking away four inches from my total amount because of my overlapping and stitching, making it a perfect fit.
fit going from 78 inches down to 74, which is what I need for the opening. Okay, I brought the screen out here and currently the temperature is 106. It is hot and breezy. We have our first half done. We're gonna finish the second half, pack everything up, head to the campground, and we'll do our final reveal there. On the way to the campground, we decided to get a Blitzers. Our sliding door has been here for a while, but now let's go reveal the back screen. Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Oh. Oh. Ta -da! It turned out so good. We're really, really happy with it. We have, so we started with this side and up in here we have screwed all the way across the wood roof or ceiling all the way over to this point here then we started coming down the side and we screwed into our plywood all the way down and tucked it back in there so that there was no way for any bugs to sneak in over there then we went to this side and we did the same thing we went all the way across the roof screwing it in to make sure it's nice and secure and that there are no open spots. Then we went all the way down the wall on this side along the plywood and tucked it in. And it is so good. And we have our magnetic door here so we can still, if we want it open for any reason, we can just open it up, the magnets, there we go. So we can open them if we want to have it open or if we want to get into our boxes, our storage containers here, um, or if we just want to get in and out this way, we can have it open anytime we want and then we can close it right back up, which is why it's so awesome and keep the bug. Just like I wanted that. to let you know where we purchased these screen doors and where you can purchase them as well. So the screen door on the back of the van, we actually purchased at Target. So one box is $14.99 plus tax and we ended up having to buy two, as you know, in order to fit this area. We actually did the same thing for this side slider door, but those we purchased at Bed Bath & Beyond, they were the same price, $14.99 per box. We had to buy two boxes to do the slider door as well, but the difference at Bed Bath & Beyond, if they do have them in stock, is you can usually use a 20% off coupon. So keep that in mind. Additionally, they did have them at Walmart, but they didn't have them in stock at our local Walmart. If they have them at yours though, they're cheaper. They're only $9.99, so you do get a little bit of savings if you choose to do that as well. All right, everybody, as you can see, we are no longer at the campground. We have made it home and we forgot to film an ending. Sorry about all of the jumping around, but before we end this video, I did want to let you know I was doing a little bit of research about these magic mesh screens. I was kind of trying to find out what other people use them for so that I could let you know as well. And one of the number one things that I found is that people like to put them on a door that goes outside or a sliding glass door so that their dog or cat can go in and out without someone having to open the door for them. The benefit to this type of screen is it magnetizes and the magnets are heavy duty. So it's actually pretty easy to open, but they're strong enough that after opening, it closes itself. That is a really, really great feature. I also found that of the reviews, people said it's really easy to install. And I agree, we didn't even install it the way that most people would on their house. We put it in our van, so it was a little more work, but it was pretty simple. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the Magic Mesh Deluxe Screen Door. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!